Hi everyone, welcome back to Chakor. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can assign a temporary password to the user in case you forget the password. Keep in mind, this is only for the testing purpose. So let's get started. As you can see on the screen, this is the front end I have made it. Uh, in this flow, I have uh, taken two inputs and I am allowing the user to sign in and sign up. If you are not familiar with the sign in sign up workflow, do let me know in the comments. So I will make a separate video on it as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign up one user. Let's start with the email. So this is the email of my user and let's keep the password to one, two, three. And as you can see, the user is successfully signed up. Now I, I will log the user out. Now the user is logged out. Now in case you forget this password and you wanna uh, allow the user to sign in and you want to assign a temporary password from the front end, uh, what you can do is, uh, I'll show you. So let's move back to our editor. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I will create a state on my main group. I will name it to password and I will keep it type to text. One more thing you're gonna need is a button. So let's place a button first. I will center it and I will make it last. I will name it to assign password and we need one more thing that is a text. I will make it last and I will center it as well. Okay so right. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna set up our workflows so when the user will click on assign password workflows we'll use this action which is named as assigned a temporary password for the user in this case it will be current user and the next thing we're gonna do is set the state of the our main group which was uh, and, and its state that was password and its value will be the result of step one assign a temporary password so what is happening here is the user click on the button and the systems allow a temporary password and it is it is saved in the state value so yeah that's pretty much it and we will print the value of the state in our text which will be the our group was group a and its state was password so the here the state will be printed so uh, let's suppose now uh, I want to assign a temporary password first. So what I'm gonna do, I will run the user from the, my backend, uh, from my bubble editor. Uh, yeah, so once the user is, uh, uh, the user will be automatically signed in as uh, I will run as the user. And the next thing I will do is I will click on the assign password button and you can see there here is a temporary password and I'll log the user out and I'll t enter my email again and here you I will add the copied password and I will sign in the user and you can see the user is successfully logged in thanks for watching do let me know in the comments how you find the video thank you